At first, it's just you. Your life is mostly about you. Your friends and your work and your schedule and your interests and your goals and your thoughts and all the rest of what makes your life your life. Your center of gravity extends roughly as far as you. But then you meet someone, or you've known them for a while, and they have their own life with their own center of gravity, and your heart begins to shift towards them. You ache for them. Their well-being begins to matter to you more than your own. You find yourself making sacrifices for them while they're doing the same for you. It's here that you become aware of a subterranean shift, a tectonic slide in your heart, one that alters the course of your life. Your center of gravity expands. You're in new territory. As you intentionally create space for this person in your life and they create space in their life for you, this movement creates space between you. This flow in the space between you is like an energy field or an electrical current. It's the draw, the pull, the magnetic attraction that leads you to give yourself to this person in a way you don't give yourself to anyone else on the planet. The art of marriage is protecting that energy flow because it can become this extraordinary source of life. And that's, you know, for us, worth writing a book about.